Hey guys, and welcome to another brand new video. In this video, we actually are going to be making this video a little bit on the earlier side because we are going to be waiting for the Target PlayStation 5 and also maybe some Xbox news with that restock. So if you guys are seeing this video throughout the first like, you know, first like half hour or so, definitely be on the lookout for Target or throughout the rest of today because we actually have been seeing Target kind of mess around with their stuff a little bit more. But as well, we'll also be kind of covering up a little more details on Target, all the other big boys, Best Buy, GameStop, a little bit of walking news, rumors, and all that good stuff as well. So if you guys will sit back, relax, and enjoy, I just wanted to make sure I put that little Target thing at the very start just in case it's like ongoing or just happening or stuff like that. It's a little bit harder sometimes with like the, for the early morning videos, because they usually do them at night and then schedule them in the morning so you guys know what to look forward to and like what's also happened as well. So hope you guys don't mind that. As well, uh, for the usual quick sell up before we dive into the video, if any of you guys are brand new, make sure you guys are subscribed with the notifications on as well for the brand new PlayStation 5 giveaway that's ongoing on the channel itself. Twitter and Twitch stream as well, link down below. Sign up for Weeble, deposit $100, you guys go get free stack and free money. Coinbase, you guys go buy $100 worth of any cryptocurrency, you guys go and get free Bitcoin. And of course, we always have the Amazon links down below for the PS5 disc, digital console, and controller, just in case you guys want to go check this stuff on out. And of course, leave a like on the video if you guys would like. So as you guys heard me at the very, very start of the video, Target. So we did make some videos on it as of yesterday. Target did actually have a pretty big stock arrival. We also had quite a few multiple different other employees go and mention and talk that they did have a lot of PlayStation 5 stock arrivals. We saw some double digits. We saw some single digits. We saw a very small amount of PlayStation 5 digitals as well as also Xbox Series X's and also Xbox Series X Halo editions. Kind of very various, kind of all over the place when it comes to this stuff. But we actually are anticipating and kind of waiting for a drop. It is not 100% guaranteed for today, but just based on the previous trends, previous Fridays, and also the fact that we've actually seen some stock arrivals for it, it does kind of go and bump up the actual likelihood of it actually happening all throughout today. So if it actually did already go and happen, you guys are feel free to leave a comment down below just to keep people in the loop. If for some reason it did not, no worries on that at all. We'll probably try to go our best and try to find more information for the actual, like all the employees and more stock information, stock arrivals and all of that. But I did give you guys, I think, two videos as of yesterday. So for some reason, you guys are seeing this early morning or whatever. Hopefully you guys knew about that beforehand on top of that. We also kind of touched on like the weird drops. There is always that weird chance too that there could be some of those little baby bits and pieces of drops. So what we mean by that is that Maybe just more on the like weird regional side. Some stores get stock, some stores don't get stock. Like it's that really weird stuff with Target itself because it's been such a weird drop this past like month or so. Or it could just be a normal event drop. Either way, if you guys see this video at the very start on the notifications or throughout the next hour or so, be on the lookout in case Target does restock. But as well, if it did, you guys hopefully just skipped ahead of this stuff. That's why I have the timestamps down below. So, uh, yeah, we'll keep you guys updated whenever I'm like more in the move. I always have work throughout to around like 12 o'clock or so. We'll go from there as well. Best Buy. So we did also have the Best Buy walk-ins that apparently went pretty good. Like apparently like nothing super crazy happened. Quite a few folks actually got their consoles, got more well, GPUs, got their, you know, got their GPUs for it. They had a little bit of everything. Overall went very, very swimmingly. So hopefully that'll also go and segue into more Best Buy walk-ins in the near future. I always love when they do them. I was also kind of surprised when they've done like two GPU restocks and they haven't done anything else. Not sure exactly why. It's a little bit on the weirder side, I'll be honest with you guys, but hopefully sometime soon. But we also are overdue for a Best Buy restock too as well. We haven't really seen any major stock arrivals, at least on our like oh, like awareness or whatever, or at least in terms of our leaks too on top of that. So we'll keep you guys up to date the best we can. But uh, like I said, just be on the lookout for it from anytime from around 8 a.m. to around 5 p.m. They've kind of broken the trend a little bit and stocks have definitely moved a little bit too as well. But at least we do know that it's overdue and we're working on it and stuff like that as well. The Xbox Series X Halo Edition. So we can do a quick moment on that because people keep on asking about that. Best Buy, to my knowledge, still has not done any restocks, but I have messed around with their website and added the actual listings and stuff like that for the Halo uh, Halo drop. Amazon is the same exact boat. We have not seen them actually go and do the Amazon uh, Halo restock for the Halo Xbox Series X. And same thing too as well with GameStop. So we'll talk about that a little bit more in a second. But GameStop also for online has not done anything for their Halo Xbox GameStop. So, or for the resets. So basically, if you guys want to go and be on the lookout for that, be on the lookout for all three of those big retailers. Hopefully, they'll drop sooner rather than later and hopefully not throughout the weekend. I think usually Friday kind of bumps up the likelihood of some of these restocks just in general. Same thing too with Amazon. Amazon did have a PlayStation 5 Disc Edition restock, but they did not go and have a PlayStation 5 Digital restock. So just want to keep you guys all in the loop that we are waiting for that still. Same thing as we mentioned for the Xboxes too. Xbox Series S's have been pretty much in stock a lot though, so it's kind of like phased on out for that. But at least we're still waiting for that. 
On top of that, too, for other news, GameStop was and still is having rumors for the Xbox walk-ins. We've seen this on reports from many different other various folks, and even as of yesterday, if we kind of maybe see more confirmations, more tweets, more messages, more employee confirmations, or whatever it is, I'll try my best to keep you guys in the loop the best I can, especially because I do don't think this Halo Xbox is actually very high up there in the priority list for people. Like, I, I, I personally would be in the same boat. I'd rather have a Halo Xbox than a normal Xbox Series X if I had the chance to. So, I'll keep you guys in the loop for it. Point no PS5 rock restocks for that. Same with Walmart itself as well. So, Walmart's probably a little bit more on just like they're probably not doing nothing for the rest of this week. They already had their good restock in general. I guess I'm probably still on the major focus for the target. Hopefully that's happening today or sometime soon. Uh, the new egg actually did go and have some PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X bundles. Maybe see if they want to do another round for that all throughout today, but that did happen last night. And Timeline also did go and confirm that they were going to have some Xbox Series X Halo Edition soon. I'd probably assume they're playing a bundle because they also did even do some Xbox Series X bundles earlier on throughout this week. Same thing too as well with some more GPUs. They did actually have a GPU bundle restock. And of course, don't forget about Newegg for all the GPUs on top of that. But I'll probably be expecting some bundles for them, uh, which is kind of nice. Like I feel like Antelion's kind of slowly, they always have to do bundles, but at least they are doing sales and getting stock and releasing stock and helping people get their consoles. So you, you got to give them some claps on them. I even tweeted at Online yesterday and they were talking about Dog Day and I asked what about Cat Day? Because as you guys probably know, my little channel icon is a cat. I also love cats and all my Twitch emotes are cats too as well. Uh, but basically they also said cats are always every day. So you know what? I'll give uh, Ant Online a little bit of a thumbs up from me. Uh, and also as I talk about too, for all the big boys, it's probably, unless we have the Target and Best Buy drop, maybe a little bit more on the smaller side for that in general. As well, we also do have the Costco and Sam's Club. We've been mentioning them both for quite some time. Kind of stinks because we're just, I don't, I don't like repeating myself, but they are always a possibility. That's why I always mention them. I don't like being that guy, but you know, I'm trying my best. So Costco itself for the PS5 and Xbox Series X, both overdue for both of them, just so you guys all know, as well, looking not that bad. I'm kind of excited for him. Feels a good man on that. Uh, on top of that, too, same thing with Sam's Club. We keep on mentioning Sam's Club. PS5 is slowly getting a little bit more on the overdue side from Sam's Club, but still the Xbox has been like over a month. Maybe for both those retailers, they could maybe work in some Xbox Series X Halo Infinite Editions. But that's not guaranteed, and also apply. I'm sure they want to go focus on the Amazons and GameStops first, rather than more of those mid-tier retailers. As well, no PS Directs. We did not go into any PlayStation Directs unless they want to work in a random YOLO restock at all. And for all the other various places, we always keep on talking about Silver Coals and stuff like that. Overdue. Walk-ins. We did also go and report a little bit of news on the HEB walk-ins. If you guys saw that video, we actually have been seeing Xbox Series X's floating around, so make sure you guys are on top of that. We'll probably cover that news a lot throughout the weekend, and I also do like the fact that we also have like a lot more walk-ins slowly kind of mixing on in, so just be aware and be on top of that. We were seeing some rumors that the PlayStation 5s were supposed to be showing up soon, and some people were getting the PlayStation 5s too as well, but the Xbox Series X's are confirmed. We've seen receipts. We've seen multiple people confirm get them. Make sure you guys go and call your store. Be nice to employees. Be nice to the stock. Creep around. Or maybe if you guys are trying to go get groceries or anything like that, you guys have a chance to go get it. HEB is more in the southern area. And I've always keep on saying, even on the video yesterday, very nice to go and see that we're finally going and getting stock. For people in the, like the pure south, like Texas, we have some other retailers that usually have stock, but... Uh, they've been a little bit more on the dryer set, so very nice to go and see that. As well, don't forget, Staples still keeps on getting stock. We keep on seeing reports, although kind of like all over the place. But we do keep on seeing reports for Staples for the PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X free stocks. Always nice to see. We love to see it, so good stuff on that. As well, once again, also just be nice, be polite, be you know respectful of the employees. If you guys ask information, my number one tip I always go and say go and ask them when the last stock arrival was. And then either way, you either know it's been a while, so there's no stock, or if it's also been a while, that means there's gonna be stock coming soon. Or maybe you get lucky, and maybe there is some stock in the back as well. Myers, we haven't seen anything super crazy throughout this week. We saw little baby bits and batches of stock arriving. We're gonna try our best to see it throughout this weekend and see if more stock does arrive. I also have to sneeze. Oh, no. Ooh, it's always sneezy over here. So we're waiting for the Myers itself to go and basically get their stock soon, maybe throughout this weekend. So, wait, I think this will be probably a pretty good walk-in restock weekend. PC Richards, sometimes we see it on Friday. So if you guys just want to check and see yourselves. BJs, we haven't seen any information on them at all, which kind of stings too. We're kind of waiting for all of that. Fred Myers and Kroger's still a little bit more on the drier side too on top of that. 
And as well, Walmart, we haven't seen anything super crazy. We did see small badges showing up for four, but nothing else afterwards. So that's pretty much it about throughout this video. We'll kind of maybe go and see maybe whenever I wake up if Target does or did not go into restock. And as well, also be on the major lookout for all the other retailers we mentioned throughout this video. I appreciate you guys all so much for watching. We guys all have a great day, great morning, great all that good stuff. I'll see you guys all throughout today for the rest of some good old videos. Got the Amazon links down below for the PS5 disc, digital console controller, Twitter and Twitch room as well, link down below. Sign up for Weeble, deposit $100. You guys go get free stack, free money. So when basically you guys go buy $100 worth of any cryptocurrency, you guys go and get free Bitcoin. And I'll see you guys all in the next video later on throughout today. Love you guys.